Hello everyone. Today let us discuss the working principle of electromagnetic induction type relays. So, electromagnetic induction type relays works on the principle that torque is produced when one alternating flux reacts with eddy currents induced in a rotor by another alternating flux of same frequency but displaced in space. That means we need the help of two alternating fluxes due to which uh, some eddy currents are produced uh, by both the fluxes. Right, due to that eddy currents, what uh, that eddy currents also produces again magnetic field. Though in, due to the interaction of these fluxes with the eddy currents produced by another flux, which is in phase displacement, in, in space displacement, so some force is produced on this disk. So due to that force, this disk undergoes some displacement. So this is on this principle, the electromagnetic induction type relay really is working. Let us see how this happens. So, to understand this, let us take a disk which is non-magnetic in nature. Let us pass some electron lines of force to pass through it, that is flux 5 m So, when this flux 5 m is passing uh, through this electromagnetic disk, so it causes some eddy currents, right? So, let us take the direction of this eddy currents is in this direction, right? So, in the same way, if you take another lines of force, another flux 5 2 passing through the same disk but having some space displacement with this one then it also causes some eddy currents to flow through this one let us also take the direction of this one in, in this direction you can find out this direction using Fleming's right hand rule right right hand thumb rule so this is the direction of i1 and this is the direction of i2 now right so due to these currents what is the amount of force that is produced on this disk we need to find out this one right so if you observe flux is flowing flux is going into the disk here so due to this flux we know that some amount of current is produced which is in opposite direction such that it opposes the cause so cause here is flux so it causes some flux to flow in the opposite direction to this that means the flux caused by this disk is in opposite direction by taking that right hand thumb rule if you see flux in this up in upward direction right so curls of the fingers shows the current flowing through this so we have got the current direction i1 in this direction in the same way for the phi 2 2 right if you observe this flux phi 1 is in downward direction but we are taking the cause as this one right and the result which is this disk causes some lines of force to in opposite direction to phi 1 so that comes in the upward direction for us right upward direction and so that due to that the resultant is i1 this one this is i2 right now the force due to this one we need to find out so when you want to find out the force due to this one before that let us uh, define phi1 so where phi1 let us take it as what is i sin omega t right let us take this one as our phi1 or phi 1 m phi 1 max sin omega t let us take where phi 2 let us take it as phi 2 m sin omega t plus phi because it is in phase displacement with phi 1 right so now let us find out the amount of current which is produced due to this flux let us define it as i1 right so this i1 will be proportional to nothing but e1 that is nothing but amount of induced emf due to current i1 which will be proportional to what change in flux phi 1 dt which is proportional to phi 1 m cos omega t why because phi 1 is phi 1 m sin omega t in the same way current i2 is proportional to e2 that is emf induced due to second flux that is d phi 2 by dt which is proportional to phi 2 m cos omega t plus we have taken right so now based upon our definition we need our induction type relay to operate for which we need the interaction of the force produced right torque is produced when alternating flux reacts with eddy currents see alternating flux phi 1 reacts with the eddy current produced due to phi 2 that is when phi 1 interacts with i2 what is the net force produced we need to find out when phi 2 reacts with i1 what is the net force produced we need to find out due to which the resultant of which gives us the 
moment of induction type relay right so let us see how that happens for the force produced due to interaction of i1 and i2 let us take its name as f1 which is nothing but interaction of phi 1 with the current i2 right so if you see here flux reacts with eddy currents induced in a rotor by another alternating flux that is i2 here eddy current produced by another alternating flux is i2 and first alternating flux is phi 1 in the same way that is f2 is nothing but phi 2 reacting with i1 so we need to find out the resultant force of both the fluxes which is obtained by c due to left hand rule you can find out see left hand rule tells us that see current i1 is going in this direction and uh, i phi1 is in the downward direction so the resultant will be in this direction f1 in the same way here the current is in opposite direction again right so if you see this this is the actual direction right for i2 it is in opposite direction if you see you can observe f2 that means the resultant force is nothing but proportional to the difference of phi1 f1 and f2 which gives us f proportional to f1 is nothing but phi1 i2 difference phi2 i1 that is f is proportional to phi1 is nothing but I, I2 is nothing but what? Phi 2m cos omega t plus phi and phi 1 difference of phi 1m cos omega t and phi 2. Where if you replace phi 1 and phi 2 with the phi 1 is what? We know that phi 1 is phi 1m sin omega t phi 2m cos omega t plus phi right minus of or difference of phi 2 is what phi 2m sin omega t plus phi and phi 1m cos omega t so net resultant force can be proportional to if you take phi 1m and phi 2m common, we get what sin omega t and cos omega t plus phi minus of again sin omega t plus phi cos omega t. Where if you observe this is nothing but the formula for sin a cos b minus cos a sin b which gives us the resultant as f is proportional to phi 1 m phi 2 m and sin omega t minus or the difference of omega t plus phi right so we are taking the difference so which gives us as phi 1 m phi 2 m sin phi am taking right so this is the resultant so we we got the resultant as f proportional to phi 1 m phi 2 m sin theta so if you observe this resultant you can observe that there is no time term there t there that means the net force is not dependent upon the time variable and it is only dependent upon the phase difference of difference between phi 1 and phi 2 that is theta so that is a main observation here so if you observe sin theta ranges from 0 to 1 so it is maximum when theta is equals to 90 degrees so that means as the angle increases angle goes on increasing the force is also going on increasing that means for the induction type relay the force acting on the induction type relay to be maximum the fluxes phi 2 and phi 1 and phi 2 must be displaced with a much greater angle that is one main observation and if you observe one more thing there is no omega term here that means the force 
and the torque developed in electromagnetic induction type relay is independent of frequency also independent of frequency right so if you observe this is a constant term now it is only dependent upon the maximum value of fluxes which we are giving on the disc and the phase difference between the two fluxes which are interacting right so these kind of relays are can be used as you know theta as increases force increases we also know that theta are nothing but depending upon the eddy currents that is i1 and i2 that means if i1 and i2 are more i1 and phi2 are more right if i1 and phi2 are more i1 and i2 are more right if i1 and i2 must be more you know that i is equals to v by r which is i where i is nothing but the current passing through that that disk which we are using as an armature here so where v is nothing but emf induced in this here so this r is nothing but the resistance of the non magnetic material whatever we are using here as a disk so if this resistance is increased you know that the amount of current is decreased right so that means if the amount of current is decreased phi phi 1m phi 2m moles are also decreasing that means the amount of net force developed is also reducing that means indirectly the resultant force is dependent upon the resistance of the non magnetic material whatever we are using right so for this force to be maximum the resistance of the material which are we are using must be minimum this must be minimum so that more torque is produced right so you have to choose the disc such that its resistance is minimum generally aluminum is used fine generally aluminum is used then let us see about its applications for its applications generally they are they are used for protection against overloads and uh, short circuits earth faults right and they are also used in industrial plants one more thing to be observed here is so we have seen in electromagnetic attraction type relays the difference between the open and fixed contacts and uh, closed contacts and mobile contacts and fixed contacts plays a key role so when the distance between the closed contacts and open contacts if it is less the time of operation of the relay is also less but if you see here there is no role of time or the space right distance does not matter here the force is fixed whatever the distance may be here there is no place of distance only there is a single disk which moves whenever this force resultant force occurs so this resultant force is constant always independent of the distance right so that is the main difference between the electromagnetic attraction type relays and induction type relays so let us go to the classification of induction relays now so if you see about uh, the types of induction relays they are again having classification types of induction relays so first one is shaded pole structure second one is whatever meter whatever meter type so and the third one is induction cup type structure induction cup type structure so whatever meter is nothing but whatever the meters we are using at our homes now so let us see about the construction of these one by one 